Welcome to episode one of Car Tat. Car Tat. Welcome to episode one of Car Talks with uh, with Nate. Um, my name is Nate, and this is the show where I talk in my car because I'm always making the excuse that I don't have enough time to make videos. I never start. I'm never pressing publish because I have no time. And that is a stupid excuse. So I'm sitting here at a light. It's a red light. Uh, now it's green. But I'm sitting here and I wanted to, you know, talk to myself or talk with whoever's watching because my voice matters and your voice matters. And uh, let's see where this goes. I, um, I like listening to podcast formats a lot on, uh, on YouTube. Like... Uh, Colin and Samir, I've watched a lot of them. It's very niche, but if you know them, shout out to you guys. Um, they they create great content, and so I aspire to be like that as well, and to bring value and a voice to this platform. So I'm starting with something that is manageable because I drive every day, and so why not create something while I'm driving? Unfortunately, I can't look in the camera all the time because safety first, but uh, today's topic is my life. Nobody cares about my life, but me. So I feel like this channel is going to be a very selfishly driven channel because it's very focused on just creating content that creatively impacts me and something that creatively what am I trying to say it that influences me because I want to fulfill my creative um, need that I feel like I haven't been using enough lately if you don't know who I am I am a photographer and a videographer um, that's kind of what's on my social media if you go to my Instagram or or TikTok, I've I posted some of that but also my life revolves around my wife as well. We've been married nine months as I am making this video. And it's something that, you know, brings me a lot of joy. I have a little puppy, his name's Finn. And I love to make stories, whether that's by myself without giving it and pressing the, you know, the publish button or even sometimes the record button. I love listening, watching and creating stories and it's something that I'd love to maybe one day be able to get monetized or create money, create a family and like um, help provide through that. But that's just not my life right now. And so this is just something I'm going to do for fun because it should be nothing more than something that I want to do for fun. I put like a lot of pressure on my dream of being a filmmaker and creating content for the world and I've put so much pressure on myself that I don't even do it and I am so sick of that I'm sick of not doing what makes me happy uh, on this YouTube channel I've wanted to delete them so many times but on um, my feed you can see uh, some like old videos I created like two three years ago now and they I had so much fun with them. As stupid as they may, may be, I love them. And so they're not stupid because they're mine. And I put a lot of effort into them. Uh, and I just, you know, I used the equipment that I, I had, which is an iPhone and uh, some like lights, you know, and also I just tried using a lot of natural lighting, but I loved that, you know, trying, trying to solve a problem and create a video with the you know like resources that I had and that was very fulfilling for me and so I want to do that again and you know I have a nicer camera now I'm actually using my phone right now but I want to make some some movies with that and create you know a little world here uh, whether I'm the only one you know, that gets to enjoy them. Me and my wife, of course, because I'm going to have sit her down and be like, 
hey, how is this video? But that's, you know, something that I don't care about anymore. I don't care what people think. And I mean, of course, everybody cares what they think, but I don't want that to affect me anymore because I feel like it's a big part of why I haven't posted on YouTube. Oh. Uh, why I haven't posted because it's something that I care about a lot and I I feel like I need a whole plan I need to plan out everything make sure it's all perfect that's a very common theme in my brain is making sure everything is as perfect as can be and so I don't care it shouldn't everything that I create I just want to put it out there and through doing that I will become better whatever it chooses to be I don't know what kind of content I necessarily want to put out there, but I know that I do have a voice and it's something that I want to bring to YouTube. And uh, I know I might be post, I might post on TikTok as well, but I like watching YouTube and like sitting down and watching a project that someone has created because frankly, I think YouTube videos take a lot more effort than maybe just doing a TikTok. But also there's some things that take a lot more effort in TikTok than do YouTube. And so, um, and I say those two because I think those are the, the two platforms where creators live and prosper. And so I just want to be here as well. Um, but I also like, feel like I need to go into and dive into what I like to consume and what I would like to watch. And I think that can bring me a lot more clarity in finding maybe what um, I'll enjoy creating. Uh, I love watching movies. My favorite movie is Baby Driver. And I've watched, I watch it like every year. I've watched it every year for the past like five years or something. But I haven't seen like a whole lot of other like Quentin Tarantino movies. I've seen like Pulp Fiction a couple, but I do love Quentin Tarantino. I love Christopher Nolan. I actually just finished Oppenheimer. Um, and was that Christopher Nolan? I don't remember. I don't remember if that was Christopher Nolan, but I, that's the last movie I watched. It took me a week to finish because who has three hours these days, you know? And if I have three hours, I'm usually not sitting down to watch a movie. I, I'm like napping or hanging out with family or something. <laughs> but um, a lot of my life right now is school little bit of a break in between and then I got um I got work and that's what I'm doing right now I'm driving to to work uh and actually how my job works right now is I set appointments for a water company and they sell water softeners but then I also um for during the summer I do summer sales and this summer I'll be knocking doors for a window washing company and I'm excited about it. I'm really excited because I have a little more sales experience now and you now I'm trying to put some effort into recruiting. I'm putting effort into recruiting. I'm not saying the word trying in a sentence anymore. I think it's stupid because it gives me a way out and I'm not giving myself a way out. I always say, oh yeah, I'm, I'm going to do this or yeah, I'm trying to do this and then I just don't get around to it. And so if I have a desire, I want to tell um, myself that I'm going to do something, I'm going to do it. I'm going to. And that's, it's simple as that because I'm sick of not doing things because I'm scared or because I'm nervous about how it's going to play out. Like the worst thing that happens with this is nobody watches, which maybe it wouldn't be a bad thing. <laughs> um, but I just want to like press publish because I, I want to create stories so this is a new beginning and every day is a new beginning because every day I have a new choice to be creative and you know love my family and, and work hard and so I'm choosing today to fulfill my creative passion to go to work to get an education and go to school and to do all those things so um, we'll see where it goes. Uh, I've just about talked for 10 minutes now. So I think that's a good start. Um, 
thank you guys for uh, listening or anyway, see ya. <laughs>